Heidi's first experience of winter. So excited. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, what should you do? Hit the subscribe button. I'm an idiot. Ring a little bell. Ring a little bell. videos every Tuesday and Friday. On occasion, we do the Sunday video. Okay, in today's video, I have some sad news for you. I have some sad news for myself. It is just starting October. The weather has been awful. You'll see drone shot now if I've got the drone up today. Uh, it hasn't stopped raining. We've done a couple of videos lately talking about the rain, but it's getting worse and worse. So cows are gonna have to come in, which is really, really annoying for me. Uh, I like cows to be out. Last year, I think we were at about the 10th of November before they were out. They're still out now. You can't really see them with the GoPro, but they're there, they're chilling. They're just sat down eating. Last night, we noticed there was a lot more muck in the shed where they can come in and out during the night. And this morning, they were just stood around what I'd like to do, I'll just show you what happens when we do let the cows out. They don't really want to go out. They're just going out there to sit down and they want to be inside. So a lot of people are asking questions when I let cows out. Why do we have cows in for half of the year for six months? Because they don't want to be out. They do, cows do not want to be out there. Uh, when the sun's shining, it's on the back and it's nice and dry. They love it. When it's not, they don't. So we're bringing cows in. I just need to get this area tidied up. Move this out of here. This has just been a holding area for everything. Really easy for us to get stuff in and out. But obviously, weather's coming, so we're gonna have to take everything out of here, clean it up. String that we live there, we put straw in here. Water baths need mucking out as well, because they need cleaning up. We need to scrape these beds off, put new straw down. New straw? We don't use straw, we use sawdust. Put sawdust down and get it nice and tidy and clean. That's the plan anyway. I'll get this all done, get this all tidied, and then we'll discuss something where Dad was right and I was wrong, which is, 90% of the time when I've got an opinion, but there's 10% of the time when I am right. We're going to discuss something where I was wrong. And he was right last year when we brought cows out. If you remember, if you watched it, you would know I had an opinion on something. We had a little bit of a discussion. And uh, yeah, I was wrong. But yeah, we'll look at that in a minute. Let's get this place tidied up, ready for some cows this afternoon because they're coming in. So we've cleaned out here, we found a new place for the Kawasaki which is in that building at the moment because normally it lives under there. We've got more straw because we're actually six weeks earlier than we were last year which is very annoying. Heidi is mucking out troughs, living the dream aren't you Hides? So fun. So fun, living the dream. Cleaned out this trough, we just keep putting stuff into places and obviously that is horrible. Not clean, not nice. So shovel, shovel it up, get it nice and clean, ready to put some cows grub in for a bit of food. Powering on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have tidied this place up, straws out, water troughs empty, clean. What else have we done? Scraped the beds. Water. Scraped the beds as best as we can, as best us as we can, all that wood. Uh, scraped the beds as best, clean the trough out. The job that 
me and dad argued about last year so he put what we got on here dad screwed these in last year i don't know if you can see that we had an argument about it because i was like don't screw them in because you'll make a mess and they'll come up at the front and we'll not do a job you can see we haven't actually scraped down this passageway because dad's put some new concrete down in places where there's just getting a couple of holes so the places we didn't screw down like this run you can see they're all coming out there which is really annoying so when you scrape up in winter you flick each one and then you wreck them so i was wrong and then down here definitely definitely you can see the overlap there so every time you pass the scraper you flip it up and then what happens is you end up breaking this because it was on the edge so that is definitely my fault i was wrong um oops what we're gonna do now is me and heidi are gonna pull these out put them back together nice and neatly and have them straight heidi and i Thank you. Instead of lifting it up because a bit of muck has gone under them because they've moved a little bit, my fault. Let's pull it out. Boom. Get a shovel, scrape down, clean it up, and then tidy it up. That's the plan. I don't think. Ugh. We'll put this one in first and then match it all up and do it perfectly. So, what you can see is here. I don't know if you can see from that angle. Go down. Uh -huh. So what you can see here is just sawdust from last year, just got it scrambled up there, and then we can scrape this up, tidy up. Can you see that? Can you see that? Sawdust from there. What you're going to ask me is, Tom, why didn't you do this like during summer when you had so much time to do this? Um, because it didn't, because it's stupid, should have thought about it early. Right, so I'll take all these off, and then Heidi will start cleaning off, and I'll give her a hand in two minutes. That's the plan. Do that. Like we're just having to put them back straight because they were just overlapping we're just going to put them all just nail them back straight that's that's the job but it's harder to put them back than it was to take them off Dad has bedded up in here, ready for highs going in. What I'm going to do is separate them out this afternoon. So how we do it is I get my 48 highest yielding cattle. Don't know why I'm holding the camera like this. And they come into here because we just do it like that, highs and then lows. So this is kind of so much we weren't expecting it. Dad's gone and got 35 bales of sawdust until our sawdust comes back next week. We'll leave that there, hides. Put this shovel in there, hides. 35 bales of powdered bedding, which I am not the biggest fan of. It's all right, it does a good enough job, but the other beds we get, the other sawdust we get is bigger blocks. They're like literally a fraction more expensive, but I feel like you get twice as much sawdust in it. Personal opinion, it would be better if we tipped it, but we don't. So we haven't got anywhere dry to put it. If we have a roof that is worthy, we put stock under it. This is the building that I want to replace. You don't want to chat about getting a new building. If we change this one building, it would change our farm dramatically. I think it would change our whole outlook on, on the farm, in my personal opinion. Right, Heidi, I'll show you how to bed up. I do it, it is. Right. Just like that. Amazing, it? So much easier. So much easier, guys. It's like I've done it every six months of every year of my life. Kind of. Since I was 16. <laughs> you were six months old. Yeah. You can tell, so you, you open it down the bottom and then you've got to do this. And then you carry a really heavy sword. So we could do it. Just mask. Because these are the dust teams. So what we do, it's a great hiding out here being here asking questions. So how we do it is we um, scrape up every morning, every night, and we bed up every morning, every night. So we bed up with four bales a day, two sheds, twice in the morning, twice at night. Makes sense? Yeah. A lot of extra work. Oh yeah, winter is hard. This is Heidi's first experience of winter. I'm so excited. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. I've got some memes from something. Did you not sing Games Throne? Not sing Games. Games is the best. Just like that, you'll start to get used to it. Just like that. Coating. Tom's top tip for Heidi more than anyone who's behind the camera right now. Did a cracking job, well done. 
Okay, so it's always easy to go backwards. Ah. I don't know why, but just shoulders on. But where's your dust mask? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've not done that bit yet. Desi's going so slow, we're catching up with him because we've got things to do there. What you'll find is when you start doing stuff like this, you start bedding up, we need to get dust masks, I know. When you start bedding up, is you'll find what happens with cows. Because this one's an open pen, normally 164 will stand the wrong way there, so I bed the whole pen up because if she sat that way, she's still keeping her rubs clean. But Heidi will find this out while she's cracking on, but she'll learn today. I need to do a video on the full routine. This is someone who's survived of not a lot of straw in their life. Straw all sort of. He just looks so funny. Job done. You are taking this in as well. I am taking this in. Father is here. Look, it's so well. Look how clean that is. It's so well. it's so clean. It's cleaner than it was. Cleaner than it was. That's all I'll say. Horrible. The mats look good. They've been nailed down. I've admitted on camera at least three or four times that Tom was wrong. Father was right. Ginger guy got a moustache. But it's raining again. It's raining again, unfortunately. It's wet on wet on wet. Horrible, isn't it? Horrible. Cows are in tonight. Cows are in. I need to do a list of which cows are going yeah. where. Yeah. You're going to feed this out. And then put I'll back. come back, Shed. I'll get your cows in for you. You and uh, me and Heidi milk. Heidi and yourself. And Heidi and I. Heidi and I. She's laughing behind okay. me. But... And uh, then I'll have to go and uh, check out what's in the office again. Grafter, top grafter. It's already three o'clock, is it? Time flies when you're having fun, Heidi. Uh, now this the barn's been cleaned out, it looks quite tidy, doesn't it? It looks all right now. So uh, looking at the shed here. This is the shed, which is the old shipping. We've chatted about it before. This is the shed that we'd like to replace, isn't absolutely. it? it absolutely. Uh, we... It wants building over. The roof is absolutely had a second-hand roof bought in about 1965. And it's ex war material. Yeah, so, this is the shed. It's there. had its time. It's had its time. So we're going to look in spring, see who we can chat to, see if we can do a couple of deals with some people, and then that'll be a nice spring, spring pod project for the YouTube channel, definitely. And I think it would change the whole look of this farm. I think this is the big eyesore on this yes, farm. Yes, it is now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. unfortunately, yeah, it's done its time. As I said before, in about 1965, it was £1,200 to put up with cubicles, concrete, a lot. The whole building would cost £1,200, enough to house 90 cows. Doesn't owe you anything then, does it? Owes nothing. And the cubitals, these mushroom cubitals went in 25 years ago. So they've done 25 years. So, yeah, I think it's time we moved on. I think so as well. But be in spring. Right, get these cows fed. Get them done. See ya. So the shed is getting ready. Dad is just feeding out there, as you would have just seen. Bit of dust on that. What I told Heidi, and I don't think I told you guys, is you to shut the bullpen. The bullpen is now where we currently keep off and put users, actually. I need this, that hard piece. Hmm. What I can do with this is put it over that concrete we laid today. So it just doesn't, there's only one real hole that we've got. So I'll just put that on it and it'll just stop. Let it set a bit more before the cows put a foot in it. Yep, so that'll do that job. So what I was saying to Heidi before, we put 48 in the back shed, fits there, and we have 83 beds in here, and we're only gonna be putting 52 in there because we have 52 cows running through the parlor. That includes the beef cow that we've got. So we're actually only milking, I think, about 94 at the moment, just under 100. I've explained before, we used to be about 145 milking loads. Decided to put a farm shop on instead, went down a couple of numbers. We didn't need all the milk because we do wholesale, whatever. You can see that we've locked the Pan Am away trailer. Kawasaki's living live on the, uh, on the straw. We'll muck that out this week, but we would have mucked it out today. But obviously we're, we're shotgunning this job because we decided yesterday, well the weekend it was bad, Monday was quite bad and today it's raining again. The forecasting, two weeks of rain in two hours later on today. So that's a lot of rain. Gonna get the numbers sorted out and job done. 
I will slow down. People always tell me to slow down speaking. Sorry, apologies. When I'm rushing, I kind of go and kind of speak really, really fast. I know it's not good. I should slow down, I should think and pronounce what I'm trying to say. But in the ideal work world, it doesn't work like that. That is it. The cows are in. It is the 1st of October today. Probably going to be a little bit late in this video. There's a couple of stuff coming on at the moment. Cows are in, which is a little bit annoying, a little bit of like a... Uh, but I think they were ready to come in, these cows. We'll just go check the back shed. Um, they'll be in for good. What we're going to do is those lows, we're going to see if they want to go out during the day. Might give them the option tomorrow. And then if they don't really want to go, what we'll do, we'll keep them in on Thursday and then they'll be in for good if they don't want to. The weather's meant to be a little bit nicer tomorrow, but then after that, it's meant to rain Friday, Saturday, Sunday again. I'll show you some drone footages footages i'll show you some drone footages footage at the end and show you how wet it is i haven't actually got it up yet because it's been raining every time and it hasn't been needed to get it up whilst i've been doing a job so i thought i'll keep it in the bag for a little bit and um, cows seem to be nicely content chilling out they're just not used to me walking through yeah we walk through every morning and lunchtime just to see if anything's bullying make sure everything's good what i like in the morning is all the cows sat down chilling out chewing on some cud about nine o'clock finished milking they've all been fed and done i uh, will do a i need to do a milking video we'll do a routine winter routine as well neptune's here serving a couple of cows he's gonna go back over there this week as well he's done his job so he'll go back to the heifers over there and uh yeah living life guys hope you enjoyed the video today prep that building like i say that is the one building i want to renew is going to be something we're going to look at over winter and see if we can start it in spring if we can have a look at some prices and all that stuff and speaking a bit softer just because i don't want to spook cows because they're only they're used to they're not used to being shut in yet april and we'll chuck them back out you'd have seen this morning if you follow me on snapchat and instagram these cows we let them here and they didn't want to go out they just, just stood there for a good hour or two and then they all wandered off later on but it has rained on the back they're making a mess time for it to come in sad day guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel really do appreciate it it's it's amazing the growth has been great lately don't know if i've hit 100,000 by this has come out i've got no idea we're not on 100,000 we're on like 99.12 not like i'm watching every three minutes but yeah it's incredible i'm really excited for it and i do appreciate it thank you very much everyone you're amazing if you want your tp merch pemmesis5shop.co.uk slash tp merch pick it up there and uh, we'll see you later on see ya bye